Hey guys and girls, it's Russ from RussHowPTI.com. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a gym myth for you. Um, should you do cardio on an empty stomach? Will you burn more fat? If you get up early in the morning, you go do your cardio workout before you've eaten anything. Uh, this is something which I follow religiously for about two to three years when I first started using the gym. And there are superior methods out there for both fat loss and for muscle retention, which I'm gonna show you in today's clip. But this is something which is so ingrained in gym folklore that so many people around the world follow this without questioning why, why they're doing it. They just, it's the tool, you know, it's what you're told to do, right? Um, it's an unwritten rule, apparently. And, you know, I think I was even taught this on a training course when I was becoming a trainer, becoming an instructor. I think, you know, that's how ingrained this is in gym folklore around the world. Um, but no, there are superior methods. I'm gonna focus on one today, all right? Having a protein shake before you hit the gym for your cardio workout or before you go outside for your cardio workout has been shown to be more effective both for lean muscle retention and for fat loss, which is why we're here, right? It's what we both want to achieve, right? Um, having a protein shake before your workout containing a roughly 20 grams of protein, quite low in carbs, low in fats. It's been shown to be better for fat loss and muscle retention because uh, you don't want to be losing muscle at the same time, right? Because the more muscle you, you can hang on to, the more effectively you're going to burn fat anyway. So it's it's a win-win. Um, there was a study done over in the USA which really caught my, my eye, the findings of this study, and it changed the way that I did cardio. Because like I say, I used to do that. I used to do cardio first thing without eating. And these guys, uh, these researchers, looked into this exact topic, and what they found was they, they compared the effects of having, first of all they did the effects of having 20 grams of protein before your workout against having 20 grams of carbs before your workout. And they found that the protein group burned more fat, okay? Um, so again, if you're gonna eat, eat protein, right? It's better than having carbs before your workout, particularly if you're doing high intensity as well, for obvious reasons, we wanna get through our carbs so we get the afterburn, right? Um, so yeah, protein's the way to go if you're gonna eat. And then they also compared this exact myth in the gym, which a lot of people overlook completely. They looked at the effects of having this 20 grams of protein, actually, I think it was 18, 18 grams of protein uh, versus doing your cardio on an empty stomach. And they put two groups through the cardio session, exact same workout. What they found was that the protein group, not only did they burn more calories in the gym during the workout, but 12 hours later, they were still burning more calories than the other group. They were burning more fat than the other group by having a protein shake. They did the exact same workout, guys. Um, I was looking at this thinking, you know, I'm gonna give this a try and I'm gonna use it with my clients as well, see what they think. And I gotta tell you guys, I, I prefer it. Um, my clients have got good results with it. So if you've been duped, I, I don't wanna use the word duped, that sounds quite harsh. Um, if you've been given this advice by someone that, oh, you need to do cardio on an empty stomach, you'll get into the fat burning zone faster, you'll burn more fat. You know what, ditch that. It's outdated advice. Um, doing cardio on an empty stomach is now yesterday's advice. Uh, I'll put a blog post with it, the references to the studies and stuff. You can go look this up because I know you guys like to get, get facts. That's why you follow our page, right? You don't want theories, you know, this might work for you, but won't work for you. None of that bullshit. You want facts, right? And that's what you're going to get. So click the link to go to the blog, um, get our newsletter. I hope this video has helped you. It certainly helped me when I discovered this, this research, changed the way I train. And this gym myth seems to be something that a lot of people still follow today. So I hope it helps you out there. Share it with your friends if you think they do this as well. Thanks. Bye-bye. Alright guys, if you're not on our email newsletter yet, I'll put the link up there, click that, get on the newsletter. There's over 30,000 people now following our tips around the world via the newsletter. And there's nothing stopping you from getting results too. Whether it's for fat loss tips without the jargon, or muscle building facts, or supplement advice. The guys and girls on my newsletter also get the first word about any Russ PTI training programs that I release before they're released to the public, my gym, my website, across my social media, they literally get the first word. Which leaves me with one question. What the hell are you still doing here? <laughs> All right guys, what we're gonna be talking about. <laughs> Shit. <laughs>